today we will see a uh, very basic of macro uh, that we are using and we will be using for shorting and filtering so i will take you through a very short template in which you will understand the use of it for shorting and filtering so let's let's see a format which i have created so it's a very simple format say school name address and this is basically the count of the student what will be there which will be seen through uh, seen through filtering and shorting and this is will be basically the average of that for the different different subject aggregate and averages means total percentage now what i am going to show you that how to use suppose i want to see in mathematics how many boys have got more than 75 so i'll be filtering like this i'll be going and here clicking and then i can see oh i can see 23 student what is the average of Oh, 82 good but the for the same for this i have to do then again i have to click here i have to click here filter clear and then i have to go so this process is very cumbersome so with the use of macro what we can do we can make this process very simple so that is basically the use of macro let's see that so i have created this formula just for the sake of understanding so this is not for the macros so go to developer see is there any existing oh yes there is this existing what i will do i will delete this existing macro so that it will be very clear for you now i have to do something what macro macro is nothing but it is recording whatever you are doing just like a normal sound recorder whatever you will be speaking of it will record and at the later stage you can see by pressing play it but macro will understand what exactly you are doing and it will record that particular thing and you can link it with a certain object after recording it or playing it just like you are uh, placing those uh, recording in different different folder it's like that att attaching this macro recording to the different different objects so let's first record one thing so here i've written all student detail so i want there should not be any filter for that so let's record a macro for all students so here i am giving the name so this name should not have any space otherwise it will say error let's see if i do like that it will say no name is not valid you can create shortcut you can write description but i am not going to write a short video now it started recording what i will do i will just remove the macro and again place the macro so there is no macro there is no filter there is no shorting has been done with this now i will stop recording now this macro recorded the things now i will attach this particular macro with this particular tab which i have created these are nothing these are basically a normal object i have uh, inserted from the shape you can take any a uh, circle a rectangle a uh, oval shape uh, or rounded rectangle anything now i have attached with this so suppose i am making here some uh, filter like greater than only 75 okay so you can see there are 19 uh, count here for every one it is showing but um, i will click this it will remove the filter it will we can see there are total 36 student in each subject so the same way we can do for certain uh, filtering also suppose distinction student so all the students who got distinction means average marks will be more than 75 this is a normal thing normal logic you should be having so let's see this how to do it go to developer record another macro right here this students start recording it go to this filter greater or equal to 75 just click okay now you can see that on an average person people who student who got distinction out of aggregate up 11 okay so you can see that maths average 82 81 77 78 and 77 now we can stop recording we can attach that particular macro go to click right click on this object go to assign macro and you can click distinction here So click all student again, it will filter off. Then again we can distinction third, distinction fourth, and distinction five. How to do it? So suppose I am going to do for distinction third. And write distinction third. Here 
and start recording it now I will filter the class I will select only class 3 ok and then I will select here greater or equal to 75 ok so you can see distinction third only 2 overall now we can stop this recording I can attach this with this macro distinction third so likewise we can do for fourth and fourth and fifth also let's do it record a macro go distinction fourth but before uh, recording we have to just ensure that there is no already filter so we are click on all the students it will uh, remove all the shorting and filtering now I go record then I can write here distinction fourth now click ok select the class fourth select here number filter greater than equal to 75 now this is done now stop recording go here assign macro distinction fourth done same wise similarly click all student again do the same go record macro go for distinction fifth and then say ok record it go here select the class select here number greater than or equal to 75 done stop recording go here and you can assign a macro distinction now our macros are done and has been assigned properly in this different tabs you can see with the name now I will click all the students you can see the what is the average in the math 71 70 so what are, how many distinction students are there 11 what is the distinction average distinction marks who is the highest code whatever formula you will put but yes this particular tabs will work in third dominant distinction fourth dominant distinction so you can create n number of macro where this is a simple recording and attaching it to particular object so this is very easy but this will simplify your normal operation and this will give you a lot of ease in presenting the things to anyone who likes to go through your data or wherever you are you are working it is very easy for you to see the things in a compiled way more better more professional way thanks for watching